Hello and good morning guys. It is currently 1041 and I have done the morning routine as almost normal during this time and the temperature reads a solid 61. So I don't know if I'm gonna wear a jean jacket, excuse the lighting, or a like coat of some sort. I don't know what to wear. I don't like being cold, so the options are slim. I don't wanna be hot either because I am going on like a little walk and I'm gonna show you guys, but I'm not sure. I think what I might do is bring a light like windbreaker. Jean jacket just seems like it's gonna be way too congested for me. Got the Wata glasses. I think we're done. Oh, shoes. All right, I'm heading out and I'll see you on my walk. moments later finale of the walk this castle's been here since 12th century mid 12th century look at it it's gorgeous but it's closed I'm gonna show you guys the inside. Look at this door. How long has that door been there? But look at this. There's another side to it, but um, there's some people over there and we are practicing safe distancing here in Germany. So I will maybe put some footage from the walk that we took to show you guys what everything looks like on the other side. There's like a big grassy area for like picnicking and just hanging out and there's a bench there or two. I'll put in some footage now. So I am back from my walk feeling so refreshed. It was such a nice walk. There were so many people out today and it just makes me feel so happy to see that even though all of this stuff is going on, we're still able to practice like safe distancing and also just keep track of like getting out and getting fresh air. Fresh air does help. And just, I don't know, appreciating all that this like little area that we live in has to offer. We're literally in hibernation. Let's just call it that. Instead of quarantine, we're hibernating. We're hibernating and we're making sure that we're feeling better with our health and our minds and hopefully just trying to get work in as well and feel good about it somehow. But I'm so happy I went on that walk. So I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna show you what our kitchen looks like. I'm, like, I'm kind of hesitant to show you how <laughs> we've been living. I've only been living like this for like maybe three or four days. I, I kid you not, I'm really good at like straightening up and washing the dishes and I mean, that's like all I have to do. So let me just, let me just show you guys. 
I just brought these from the living room, mind you. So that clearly we indulged last night. We've been indulging incessantly. Um, I ordered a pizza yesterday. <laughs> it's empty now, but there are some slices. We're not that bad. <sighs> not that many dishes, which I'm really happy about, but I am gonna put those away. We're not doing as bad as I thought, which is good. my walk today I was thinking about all of the things that we are now able to appreciate like nature and taking walk I recommend walking um, it made us it made me think about like the things that I would want when we build our house and we're not building a house anytime soon but this is something that we had talked about like what are some things we're gonna definitely want in our house now we think about like all of the people the celebrities and stuff they have like full homes, gyms, tennis courts, inside basketball courts, outside basketball courts, state-of-the-art spas in their houses. And I was like, that's not that bad of an idea. Like, I'm gonna want a spa in my house. Like, there are gonna be days where I may be too sick to leave or something, or I don't know, you just want that stuff in your house. This is like long-term, by the way, but we were just jotting down ideas like, indoor outdoor pool i want like a quarry pond a koi pond excuse me and like fish and a nice beautiful garden so that if we are if we do find ourselves knock on wood in this situation again like at least we can make ourselves prepared yeah so like what are some things that you guys are thinking about if you're in the midst of buying a house or thinking about buying a house or you know like in your head you're gonna be buying a house in the future what are some things that you're definitely gonna put in them and have they been influenced by this quarantine that we've been living through make a banana pancake the other day I saw it on someone's Instagram and I was like I kind of want to make that all you need for this banana recipe is coconut flour a banana olive oil vanilla or uh, I use coconut extract that's all that I have Pancakes are done. Here is the final product. Um, I, they do get burnt around the edges really easily, and I think it's because I just put them in for too long. So I didn't have baking powder, and I think that the three to four minutes that they want you to keep it on before you flip it uh, accounts for having that. So I probably should have flipped it within like a minute or two. So that's why they're a little burnt. So I do have on my list of things to do is to clean the closet. So we have a two-sided closet. It's basically made a room into an op a walk-in closet. So that is my side and that's Mark's side. As you can see, I have started to collect items on the island chair. And so I want to clean that off, especially because I'm doing some laundry. And then I'm just going to tidy up this area, which is like my jewelry. Um, hair stuff like scrunchies and perfume and stuff I just want to put it all together just to make sure that everything is in one place my shoes look fine as with all of you guys probably haven't touched any new shoes other than my running shoes so that's it I'm gonna get right to it
we're a little bit later in the day and I know that before the day's out, I wanted to disinfect all of the knobs and stuff in the house. Especially because we've been going out for walks, he's been working and I should definitely be more attentive to that. So I'm gonna get that done and I will get back to you guys. I think I'm gonna make some dinner. It's already almost five and I wanna make these beans. They usually take a little bit longer because I think even though they're frozen, I feel like they were like frozen before they were like uh, sat in water or steamed. I don't know, it's weird. They took forever last time. I wanna give them about an hour to cook and um, I made some barbecue chicken the night before last. So I have barbecue chicken, quinoa, and some chickpeas, but I wanna add some pigeon peas to it. Or actually no, they're black eyed peas. So I'm gonna add some black eyed peas and maybe chop up some broccoli if I have some. So that wraps up today's vlog, guys. I would show you what I made for dinner. Nothing spectacular, but that's the barbecue chicken, quinoa, and chickpeas. I like my peas to have like a soupy texture to it. So yeah, and then these are the roasted vegetables. Very simple. Hope you guys like the vlog, and if you have any comments on how your pancake journey went, I don't know, let me know in the comments. And also, see you on the next one.